too ready for all stars. Hi, Crystal. You bet we're excited. Right, Miriam? Absolutely. I'm ready to collect another million. Bah, nonsense. I heard it before when I first played and look what happened. There is no age limit for adventure, Crystal. Hey, Miriam, it's not too late, you know? If you're not sure about this, we can still leave. Of course I'm sure. It's just, I'm worried. Have you lost your damn mind? I didn't drag my geriatric ass all the way out here just to turn back. Okay. Hello, Miriam. I bought a house near the beach. Then, with what was left, I helped Jake so he could move out of his parents' house. No, they're just not the most understanding people, and I preferred to distance myself for a while. All the time! We're basically neighbors. We even went on a trip a few months ago. Although we had to cut it short. That's none of your beeswax. Miriam got a little sick and she's been having some back problems. Posh posh. The important thing is I'm better now. Next question, please. Next question, please. Emily, if you have insight, Jake would love to know what happened to Tom. What? No, I wouldn't. Why would I care about him? Oh, brother. Jake, Miriam, great to meet you in person. <laughs> the pleasure's ours. Oh, you kids were my favorites in your season. There was one more, though. What happened to the other girl? I forgot her name. Uh... Hello. Tom, um, I... How have you been? A call to ask how we were doing wouldn't have hurt. We'll talk later. No. How can we not be? You dragged us all on live television. I might die of old age before this plane lands. It looks like we're getting close. What if we don't jump? Uh, think this is where we split. Your camps are on the right and mine's down this left path. Let him go, Jake. He's clearly not interested in patching things up. I don't want to assume things like last time. His silence speaks volumes. It might be time to move on. Easier said than done. Hot diggity, you have fire. Good job, Sonny. This way. We're here. Gret, the human hemorrhoid. What a treat. Also, if you call my girlfriend a hemorrhoid again, you'll be rolling down this hill. Just try it, whippersnapper. I'll get mine now. Whatever, not like I care. I got my eye on Alec. He's up to no good. Ha, huh, as it should be. Proud of you, gang. Next time, make sure we get the first place so we can... He went out to look for breakfast. It's not like we're very dry here anyway. Ugh, we have to win the next challenge. We cannot lose any more rewards. You should apologize to him, because he's the only one here willing to put up with your crap. James voted out at the last elimination. I think we can split up and look for the clues. Alec, you go with Miriam. Understood. Great, bring it here. Let's hustle, people! Now that we are alone, I want to ask, what were you saying to Jake in the previous challenge? Nothing important. If I find out you're trying to manipulate him, you'll have to answer to me. You hear? You're getting worked up over nothing. Oh, the clue! It's a photo of a cave. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing down here alone? Finally getting your just desserts. We can help you. What? No, we wouldn't. Listen, Miriam, if Fiore's team wins, Jake is on that team. They would both be safe. Are you suggesting that we throw the challenge? 
No. Simply, let's find a way for the Cyan team to lose. I don't buy it, but I'll accept. Only because it'll save Jay. Okay, Fiore, tell your team that you found a clue and that the chest is in the cavern. Miriam, let's go find the Cyan team. I have an idea. Girls! Miriam? I think I lost my team. And I'm running out of oxygen. In the cave while they were searching for clues. Okay, follow me. Oh, sure. We're almost there. Don't talk nonsense. Miriam is leading us towards the cave exit. What? Oops. Breakfast is ready. Get it while it's hot. Break me a plate. Do I look like a waiter to you? Where is Connor anyway? Isn't he always with you? So that man finally got fed up with you. Actually, I was the one who broke things off. You're not very smart. What? Pushing away someone like that. He clearly cared about you. Well, you millennials are all the same. Thinking you're better off alone. You'll regret it when you're old and alone like me. If I knew the time I spent with my husband was not going to last forever, I would have cherished it more. You're right. I lost my husband to an unavoidable tragedy, but you lost Connor because of your own damn attitude. Uh, Miriam, I, uh, what are you doing here? Listening to everything you just said. You heard everything? I knew I couldn't trust you. Listen, Miriam, you can't tell anyone about this. I could go to Ellie and Fiore's teams right now. You and your villain alliance can never vote for me or Jake. If you give me the slightest doubt, I'll make sure everyone knows about your little get-together. Are you threatening me? You better believe it, kid. We want to go in, and next up, Ashley for magenta versus Miriam for yellow versus Tess for cyan. Smashing! Was it necessary to throw sand in her eyes? Let me go again. I'll be more attentive this time. But how? Oh, sorry guys. I really tried. Halleck couldn't have been more obvious about throwing the challenge. If he thinks he can take me down that easy, he's got another thing coming. So tonight, I'm guessing y'all are choosing either me or Connor. Don't give me that. I know about your little villain's alliance. Yes, Jay and Ellie. Alec. Alec told me because he also has an alliance with me. He also has one with Jake. Alec already tricked you before, Gret. Ready to lose your first member? Alec, I hope the others come to their senses and send you on that bus tonight. Must leave camp immediately. Free boats are enough. You must go. So, this is how it feels to be voted out. I'm so sorry, Miriam. What the hell, Connor? Why'd you vote for me? Don't trust Alec. 